Members of a number of state and federal agencies gathered at the USC Law School. They're talking about opioids and the way it's involved and touching almost every facet of life. It's such a big problem. Our Georgie Godfrey takes us inside the meeting and tells us why panelists today say it's necessary to collaborate. The symposium featured health care professionals, local law enforcement, state lawmakers, and the United States Attorney's Office. All agree the solution to the opioid problem here is working together and crossing agency lines. Panelists at a symposium held at the University of South Carolina Law School Friday shared the role different agencies in the state play in battling the opioid epidemic. Close to 700 people died from the drug last year. Health law and how it, it's impacted by things from health insurance to prescribing guidelines from doctors, the government aspect kind of talks about policies that maybe have contributed to the opioid crisis. The United States Attorney's Office explained laws in place to help states fill in the gaps when prosecuting dealers of opioids. It is a, a statute that allows us to um, seek enhanced penalties for drug dealers who sell drugs that result in the serious bodily injury uh, or death of a person uh, who, who consumes those drugs. The penalty for that is at minimum 20 years in prison. Healthcare professionals were also involved in the conversation. Sheriff Leon Lott of Richland County said prescribed medicines are leading patients to use harder drugs like heroin, causing doctors to have to limit their prescriptions and monitor who's prescribed what. In 2016, there was a payer mandate that required um, doctors and uh, practitioners to check that PMP for uh, Medicaid patients. And then as mentioned earlier, there was a 2017 legislative mandate that came to effect that would require um, the uh, checking of that uh, program whenever a person was prescribed a um, Schedule II drug. The Department of Health and Environmental Control reports that more than 4 million opioid prescriptions were filled last year. In Columbia, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. And listen to this number. DHEC also reports that Narcan, that overdose reversal drug, was administered close to 8,000 times last year.